Hi, Mark Gordon, GoldenTicker.com, on Wednesday, October the 12th at about 10.05 a.m. Pacific Time uh, with your gold, silver, and spiders report. Uh, this is the GLD, and uh, we broke out of this little trading range here that I've talked about in the previous uh, videos here, and uh, short little range here, but it nonetheless broke out here and uh, now in our third day of attempting to move higher and uh, coming up uh, against resistance here at this um, uh, red line, which is the 21-day moving average, and uh, this is a spot where um, you know your shorter-term uh, uh, traders uh, may take some profits here. Uh, this is at the uh, 164.58 level right now, and um, we got to a high of 164 right now. So it's come up against uh, what we call overhead resistance here, and uh, we'll see what happens if we can get through this. Then, of course, our next stop is going to be this blue solid line. This is the 50-day moving average at uh, currently at uh, $170.44 on the GLD. Uh, once again, recapping, uh, we have a longer-term trend in place. Uh, this uh, dashed blue line here and uh, support would come in at about the $157 level on a pullback. Also, we have support down here at this green dotted line, which is the 100-day moving average currently at $160.85. So a uh, nice little move in the gold here, another strong day. And a quick look at the weekly chart on the GLD, you can see this long-term trend that is in place. I drew a line along the bottoms here. Uh, this trend has been in place uh, pretty much all year long here. We got above the upper trend line here and of course uh, had a correction. It was in the overbought territory, which pulled us back down here testing this lower trend line here. So here's where we currently are, um, up above the 20-week moving average, the green dotted line on the gold. and. Uh, uh, next stop up here, the 10-week moving average, uh, currently at $170.80. And here is silver looking at the SLV, uh, currently up 1.72% uh, today. Um, broke out of this little range here and moving higher, um, heading up towards its 21-day moving average, which is uh, currently at $32.93 here. Uh, we're currently um, at uh, $31.92 here. So um, about another buck higher here uh, will be the overhead resistance. And you can also see I drew a line along this previous top here, which is at about the same level. So uh, coming up into overhead resistance up here. And here is the S&P 500. This is the uh, S&P 500 spiders, the SPY, and uh, currently up 1.71%. Another strong day here, uh, breaking out finally of this uh, overhead trend line here. Um, so clearing that um, well above the 50-day moving average here and the 21-day moving average, which is now starting to turn up. And you can notice here that the 50-day moving average is starting to flatten out and turn up as well. Uh, volume has been light uh, and, uh, and tapering off, not a good sign. A uh, little bit of sign of weakness here, coming it into overhead resistance, uh, possible overhead resistance here at the 100-day moving average, which is at 123.54, uh, which is uh, about two dollars higher than we are right now. Uh, so um, big uh, uh, move here uh, uh, in the spiders. Uh, typical of the volatility that we've been having. Actually, um, this uh, run here has been uh, uh, the most powerful run of this consolidation uh, period here. Um, let's see what happens. Uh, we are due for some kind of a pullback to digest this move, um, and support would come in, of course, here at the 50-day moving average. But again, another solid up day for the spider, and uh, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, higher highs in a row. So a uh, nice move here, um, but markets are very volatile, very hard to make money in. Um, let's see uh, what happens on a pullback here. And looking at a weekly chart of the SPY, uh, we can see this uh, sort of consolidation uh, sideways noise here, back and forth, very volatile. And we can see the powerful uh, move we've had in the last uh, uh, several weeks here. Uh, you can see um, the previous top here at 122.87. Currently, we're at 121.75, so uh, about a, a dollar off of that. And we can see this 20-week moving average down here, uh, currently at 122.66. Um, so just about a dollar higher uh, for that too. So coming up into some possible overhead resistance here. Um, nonetheless, a nice move, up 5.22 percent for this week so far. 
and it looks like a, the uh, run off the bottom here is about a 15% move. So lots of volatility uh, this time to the upside.